What's good there fam, this is Big Dome coming at you from Big Dome Productions, Beats and Feasts, you know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video and today, it's going to be like everyday cooking, but I'm doing a, basically a teriyaki pork chop, I'm adding some mushrooms in there, so let's call it a mushroom teriyaki pork chop, pork chop. So it's real simple, real easy, super flavorful, super tender, so I just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you like it, make sure you like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications make sure you share the video let's get started with some mushroom teriyaki pork chops pretty simple recipe uh, we gotta start out with our pork chops of course we got some pork chops here bone in I always use bone in I don't like those bone out things with no bone but I got some pork chops and then for the seasoning on the pork chops, some Lowry seasoning, salt and salt and pepper and garlic powder. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right. Now for the sauce, for the teriyaki sauce, we got some honey here, about a third of a cup, about a half a cup of brown sugar, just some water. Um, we got some garlic and we got some ginger. And some soy sauce that's what's going into the actual sauce for the teriyaki and I'll put the measurements in the description and then of course we got some mushrooms there that I'm gonna be adding but uh, that's all the ingredients there is to it so it's real simple let's get started putting it together all right so the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys is preheat your oven to 350 before you start anything you need a preheated oven for 350 so let's start with seasoning up the pork chops here like I said, real simple seasoning. Some pink Himalayan sea salt. Some black pepper. Real simple seasoning. Some Lowry seasoning salt. and a little bit of garlic powder. We're just gonna flip these over and we're gonna do the same to the other side. I don't know why they gave me that little strap in there, but that's a, my fourth pork chop there. All right, salt again. All right, now we're just going to set this aside just for a second. All right, so we're over here at the stove. Got my cast iron steel it. And we're just going to put these pork chops in. And we're just going to brown them on both sides. gonna get those nice and brown on both sides in the meantime while those are browning up we're gonna start a teriyaki sauce real simple so over here on a saucepan we're gonna start in the saucepan we're just gonna start with one cup of water and we're gonna add about a half a cup of soy sauce Now this is the teriyaki sauce coming together. We're going to add about a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to add a third of a cup of honey. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. 
We're going to stir that up in there real good. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of ginger. And we're going to mix this up in here. And we're just going to bring that up to a simmer. And we're going to thicken it with the cornstarch slurry. Which is basically just water and cornstarch boiler. We're going to let that get hot first. Alright, so we got our pork chops cooking away there. We're just going to flip them over. We're not trying to cook them. Just browning them. Get a little bit of color on them. All right, we're gonna brown the other side. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, so it's come to a nice little simmer. So we're gonna take this slurry, which is about a half a cup of water and some cornstarch. We're gonna thicken this up a little bit. I'm not gonna thicken it a whole lot, just a little bit. Ah, there we go. It's starting to thicken up. You can feel it under your wisp. And you can see it there. You always want to take your, taste your teriyaki sauce. If you want it to be a little sweeter, you can always sweeten it up with some brown sugar or some more honey. Alright, so we're going to turn this down to just, just to keep it warm. And we're going to tend to our pork chops. All right, so the pork chops got some good color on them, like I said. I'm not cooking them, I'm just browning them up. I'm going to take them out and put them on this plate here. And we're going to use the drippings in this pan. And the grease is in this pan already. And we're going to put our onions in here. Get our onions moving around in here just a little bit. Ah, yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, you can smell those onions. Alright, to the onions we're going to add about, about a teaspoon of minced garlic to it. There we go. We're going to mix that up in there good. We don't have to cook that very long. Garlic, as you know, tends to burn a little bit. Turn the flame down just a little bit. And we're going to add our mushrooms. Some of these are some big boy mushrooms. I'm going to cut them in half. Now those mushrooms are going to release some water, which is going to do what they call deglazing the skillet. Ah yeah, it's looking good, looking good. Ah, there we go. Alright, so, I'm going to take my pork chops, we're going to add those right back to the skillet. All the juices as well. All that's flavor. And right over the top, we're going to add our teriyaki sauce. Our thickened teriyaki sauce. Boy, that's going to be good. 
All right, so we're gonna try to get those mushroom, mushrooms and everything in that sauce. But we're gonna take this skillet now and we're gonna cover it just like that. And we're gonna pop this in a 350 oven for about an hour, an hour and a half. We want those pork chops to get super, super, super tender. So, by YouTube time, it'll be a second, but in real time, we're talking about an hour and a half. Here you go. Mushroom teriyaki pork chops. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. You know what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for that bite. Hey guys, whoo! That hour and a half is worth it because there is no knife required. Look at that. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's melting your mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Hey guys. You gotta try this, this is amazing. You have to try it. If you like the video, do me a favor, go down there and just like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video, and hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.